Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get out of the friend zone with a man. Now, getting in the friend zone sucks. I've been there. Most people, well, most guys that I know have been there. Some women that I know have been there. Um, and and really, there's there's one specific thing that you need to do in order to get out of the friend zone, and and um, It'll get you somewhere. It'll either get him, you know, admitting his attractiveness level for you, or it'll make him go, I don't know if, you know, I'm interested in that. Um, but either way, you'll get somewhere. And that's what you want to do if you're stuck in the friend zone. And, and so there's kind of two ways to uh, sexualize uh, the conversation that you're having with a guy. Um, and the first one is to encourage him to pursue you by telling him that it's attractive. And this kind of does two different things here. The first one is it does kind of sexualize the conversation. And the second one is um, that it's encouraging him to do things that a guy would do if he was interested in you um, more than just a friend. And guys will do this for women you know, just as friends. And so when you kind of sexualize it a little bit, it, it, it kind of turns it into something more sometimes. Um, and so what you do here is uh, just like I, I said, you, you tell him it's attractive when he does something that's pursuing you. Uh, so for instance, you might say, uh, did you just buy my coffee? That's hot, right? And so what you're doing is you're, you're kind of taking it to a different place there you know you could be like oh thanks a lot for buying my coffee but when you're like did you just buy my coffee that's hot you know all of a sudden you're turning it into this sexual thing you know this thing where it's like whoa you know and if he's like hmm you know if if he if you know he secretly likes you or you know he wasn't really thinking about it before but now he is um it could do a lot of good things for you uh, and then the second one is just, you know, uh, creating a sexual conversation, um, but one that's not like coming on too strong, uh, but it's also kind of changing the way that you're having the conversation. And, and um, so uh, w one way to do this would be to tell him uh, that his butt looks good in the pants that he's wearing or, or you know, tell him that he looks good in whatever... Um, like clothing, like tell them that it's hot or, you know, something like that, you know, but if you're like, hey, your butt looks really good in, in those pants, you know, um, you're doing a couple things there. One, he's going to be like, whoa, whoa, wait a second, you know, she's staring at my butt, you know, like what, <laughs> what's going, and she likes it, you know, and so um, you're giving him clues uh, that can um, you know, if, if he's wanting to move it to that level, but he's not really sure what to do and he's kind of waiting to see how interested you are, uh, this is basically going, hey, I'm interested. You know, I'm interested in something more. And um, you can see where he'll take it from there. Uh, so that's it for this video. If you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.